What is up, my Squirtalites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to another weekly update. Uh, sorry about not getting one out last week. Um, it was... I, I guess I never mentioned anything about not putting one up last week, but it was kind of something I did, wasn't planning on doing anyway. What with the release of the new Destiny expansion, I was just kind of like, I'm just... I'm not going to bother because it, it kind of came out, you know, right as I was, you know, right as the expansion was coming out. And it was just going to make things a little bit difficult. Not to mention, I didn't really have too much to talk about. So I was just like, eh, it's whatever. Um, and I'll talk about the expansion a little bit in this. I mean, I really don't have much to say on it. It's not like there was any major changes to the game. I, I'm not, I mean, I'm not even making videos on it. So um, there's really not much to be said. It just expanded upon the game. It's literally as true to an expansion as an expansion can be for a video game. It, it didn't add anything vastly new it just improved it and you know what that's probably all i need to say about it um anyway um so next few things i guess i could talk about so i've actually got uh several things recorded um for uh as far as let's plays are concerned uh coming up um there is a pokemon let's play i've actually had in the works for a while now um and i did take a, a hiatus on it when you know i took the the full hiatus a little while back, but I'm not gonna, I'm not getting rid of that let's play, I'm actually continuing from where I had left off, so that is still gonna be a thing, I probably won't even start uploading it though, until I've recorded the entire thing, um, so don't expect it anytime soon, but I just let you know I have been working on that, maybe we'll start before the end of the year, I don't know, we'll see, um, next on the billing is definitely, um, Skyrim and then the other project I have planned which I've actually been doing a practice run of uh, recently I'm, I'm almost done with my practice run actually and then I'm gonna do it again it's an older game um, from the PlayStation 2 Xbox era I know I've brought this up before but it's a game I really like it actually kind of fits more in line with the really popular stuff on my channel um, I know my most frequent viewers don't really know what my most popular stuff is um, because there I do have a lot of subscribers and a lot of viewers who literally are just here for the ps2 classics that i've done which are the medal of honor titles and like midnight club 3 and stuff like that and this kind of falls in line with those um but playing through it again i have to say it's a really solid game and i can't wait to actually show it because i i'm actually surprised it actually bums me out how much how good of a game it is because it, it's an it's an older you know it's an old entry in a series that's still going on today and the formula has completely changed like there are still obviously elements of that formula in the present day and again i don't want to spoil what this is yet but it's one of those games that's kind of bummed me out thinking man this is what the series once was and now look at what it's become because it was you know for its time a little even a little dated at the time but still really solid and um yeah, it's a game I can't wait to I can't wait to show off because some of these older games, I'll admit, I have my minor frustrations with because you know they haven't aged that well, and you know my perceptions changed, and I'm not really as used to them as I once was. But at, this is one of those games where I just picked it right up and was like, this game is still really good, and yeah, I can't wait to show it off. I mean, I could be proven wrong by the end of the my, my practice run. One of the later levels makes me want to kill myself, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, so. Um, then there's the Overwatch Hero Guides. I mean, I'm just getting those up weekly, like I said. Um, I really don't have actually too many more in the pipeline. I think we're going to probably stop at around 10 or 11. Um, just because there's just certain heroes I'm not... I'm, I'm not going to really be able to be that helpful with. Like, Anna's one that I just... I suck with her. I, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to talk about her. Or, I mean, then there's... You know, there's ones like Widowmaker where at the moment I just, there's nothing I can do. There's no way I can show that off just because she's in such a terrible state. Um, and, I mean, there's just certain heroes that I'm probably just not going to be able to cover. Just because I'm I'm no good at them. I don't really have much to offer. Diva was actually one of those ones I was pretty reluctant to do. But I kind of wanted to squeeze her in between one of the more important hero guides just because she is a hero i play very frequently even though i don't really consider her to be one of my best but uh i got it out of the way regardless i don't know we'll see how much longer it goes i also don't want to record ahead on these things just because blizzard is you know actually good at regularly updating things so 
I could, you know, record, let's say, two, three guides ahead. And then, like, the last hero I recorded a guide for, suddenly there's a big change that completely changes the hero or makes them so much better in a certain area and completely renders my entire guide moot. Um, that's what I don't, I want to avoid. Um, so, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting those done. Those really haven't been too much of a hassle. They're pretty easy. Write up the script and whatnot and in a couple hours and put it all together and I'm good to go. I have lots and lots of footage saved, so haven't really had too much trouble uh, getting that done. Um, what else do I even have to talk about? Um, oh, uh, something I was planning on doing, and I, I was going to do this a long time ago, but I still haven't done it. As I wanted to, one, I wanted to show my my little setup um, in here, but more importantly, I, I there's an old a video I made five almost five years ago at this point on uh, maybe it's four. It's just been a long time on how to make a let's play, and I mean this was back before I was even using like Sony Vegas Pro. This was back when I was using freaking Camtasia Studio, which is like a really cheap editing software as my primary editing software. Like this was back when I really I really wasn't that adept at making let's plays and I had much cheaper equipment and blah blah blah. So I wanted to update that because let's plays they are definitely not as popular as they were a few years back. Um a lot more people are focused more on, um, you know, kind of like review videos and when it comes to gaming and a lot more on just discussion videos and and streaming. Streaming is much bigger now than it was then. So Let's Plays have kind of, I wouldn't, they haven't definitely haven't gone the way of the dinosaur, but they're, they're not quite as prevalent as they once were. Um, so it's not going to have quite as much impact, I guess, but I still want to be able to kind of sit down and just go, this is my equipment, this is how I do it, this is how you can do it, and how you can maybe adjust things from there. Um, because that's still useful information, it doesn't just apply to Let's Plays. It, it also, it just applies to capturing game footage regardless. It applies to, you know, capturing your audio regardless. It, it replies to, you know, all sorts of things, how you can set up your actual, your whole setup. Because I actually have a pretty intricate setup. Well, not necessarily intricate, but a very organized setup when it comes to recording and stuff. This is, I have a very easy, a clean setup here that is actually um, taken a lot of components to make it work correctly, but the ease of which and, you know, the access and the way everything works is very clean in my setup. And I think I could, you know, offer some tips and some tricks and all that stuff in, you know, doing these things. It's just, it's not going to be like my first guide where I'm like, you can do this all for under $100. Now it's going to be more like, you need to invest a little bit of time and money into this, but you can get something pretty good out of it all. Um, because that's what I've done. I mean, I've it's taken a long time, but I have invested time and money into it. I've got a really nice computer now. I've got a an okay, um, pri uh, an okay quality microphone, and I've got a pretty darn good capture card. So... It, and, and not to mention, I don't, my software isn't really much of a slouch either. So, it, it takes time, it takes money, but I definitely want to be able to still go over all of that. But I also want to do not just um, explaining the setup, but I also do want to kind of show off my little gamer cave here. Just, just you know, so you kind of realize, you know, the way everything works in here. Um, so yeah, that's something I want to get done. In the relatively near future, I'm thinking about actually maybe recording that this week. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna be providing too many updates on Twitter this week. I'm actually kind of just taking a break for a little bit. I've, in fact, tomorrow. So you guys are seeing this on the 27th. Tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm actually taking this week off, kind of to relax a little bit, and on top of that, just to kind of spend time with family and all that stuff. So. I'm not going to really be around too much, but I will get a little bit of work done, and I might just try to work on that um, and record everything and, you know, get, get, get started on that because, again, I'm not really going to be regularly uploading videos aside from these guides and these updates uh, for a little bit. Now, I did do uh, For Honor First Impressions uh, like a week back, and I already talked about the game and the way I thought uh, and, you know, what I thought about that already. Um, I'm not necessarily bringing first impressions back in full just yet. It is something I still want to do, for sure. I do want to make it part of the weekly schedule. Um, in fact, I've sort of, for the most cart, most cart, most part, 
got uh, what the eventual weekly schedule is going to be lined out. Um, but it's going to be, it's not going to be something quite, you know, as regular or as Let's Play focused as what it was previously. Previously, it was me rotating a Let's Play, you know, every once every three days, you know, throughout the week, and then First Impressions on Friday, update on Tuesday. I can't keep up with that anymore. What I'm going to be doing instead um, is going to be a little bit different. So the Overwatch Hero Guides are going to stay on Saturday, while the First Impressions videos are going to be moving to Sunday, but they're not going to be every single Sunday. Um, they will be probably every other Sunday. It's not going to be a super regular thing, but they will still happen. Um, they're going to be intermingled with other kinds of videos, like variety videos. Like There's a certain series I wanted to do where I kind of wanted to break down some of what my personal favorite games and analyze what I think makes them good and then compare them to, you know, to compare them to other games and see how that affects other games and see what games do the same thing correctly, what games don't, and all this stuff. I wanted to actually, you know, because, you know, being someone who likes to be a critical thinker, I want to analyze, well, you know, what's what's this game doing that I'm, I like so much about it? And, you know, if any, if maybe that's, you know, why I like the game, do you perhaps agree with me? And maybe because of that exact, you know, that exact thing that that game has going for it, we can find other games that have similar qualities or possibly even better qualities and find more good games through that. You know, that's that's kind of something I wanted to maybe make a series on. Um, just, just a little bit more of an analytical and critical thing based on certain video games and whatnot. Um, as well as other things, like I still want to eventually get down to more top 5, top 10 lists. Maybe even do a couple reviews here and there. A little, like, on just on games that I really haven't talked about much. Like, one I actually wanted to do a review on eventually, um, if I don't ever end up Let's Playing it, is this year's Doom. Because, I think I also said this in an update before, but... You know, I've talked about all the games that have... Um, a lot of the games that have come out here I've, uh, this year. I've talked about Abzu. I've talked about Firewatch. I've talked about Overwatch. I've talked about so many games that I absolutely love this year. I talked about Fury. I mean, but the one that I have not... I don't... I actually, I, I can't even remember that I haven't talked about enough, I feel, is this year's Doom release. Because out of all those games, I think it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, it was... It was so addicting. The moment I started the game, I didn't want to stop playing until I'd finished it. And it, I mean, I beat it in what two, two and a half days. Um, and I really, actually, like, you know, I I dragged it out too. I didn't, you know, try to hurry through the game, which I usually do. I'm not really much of a patient gamer. I, I typically just kind of like to sprint through games and just experience all of it as quickly as possible. And if I like it enough, I'll go back through and really try to soak it in. This was one of those games where on the first time I played through it, I actually wanted it to soak in a lot, which is very unusual. So that just tells you how much I really enjoyed the game. And I didn't want to make, you know, I, I kind of want to make a review on that game of some sort. Uh, I still have to figure out what format I want to do. But anyways, that's what Sundays will be. It's just kind of a smorgasbord of ideas. Uh, whatever I really get done will fill the slot that day. Uh, Mondays are going to be a Let's Play day. Uh, let's Play video. Uh, for whatever Let's Play I've got going on at the time. Tuesday is going to be Let's Play and Update. Updates, again, they don't really take too much time, so I'm going to still fill the slot with those. Um, I'm still trying to decide on what I want to do for Wednesday, but it's not going to be a Let's Play day. Um, it's going to be something entirely different, more than likely. And then Thursday and Friday will also be Let's Plays. Um, so that's that's four Let's Plays day, Let's Play days a week. That allows for me, at best, to be able to get one, maybe two videos edited at a time. However... I am going to try to work and make longer videos when it comes to Let's Plays. Not extremely long, not too much longer than I usually did. I usually kept videos to about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, now I'm going to be, I'm going to try for sure to make my videos over 20 minutes in length. Um, unless it's a series that absolutely demands I keep it to the length of a certain, you know, like event or a certain level or something like that. Um, so like in a game like, let's say, you know, the upcoming release of Skyrim or even Last Guardian when it comes out. Or, you know, if I were to do one of, like, the Titanfall 2 campaign, I don't know if that's going to be separated in levels or not, who knows. Something like that, you know, if it's, like, a continuous thing that isn't, you know, separated by missions and whatnot, um, will likely be 20 to 25 minutes. Um, Skyrim actually will probably be more like 30 plus minutes. Um, but I'll try to make those Let's Plays, you know, a little bit more meat to them so they don't drag on forever. 
Um, because, I mean, if I'm only uploading two episodes a week, those could take forever. I mean, and they wouldn't really progress any quicker than they did in the past. So I would like to try to change that and make them progress a lot quicker by uploading meatier episodes, but trying to edit them in such a way that really something gets done. Um, if n absolutely nothing's happening, um, in a, you know, I'm not just going to try to talk and make the commentary interesting. I'm actually going to try to make the gameplay interesting as well. So they'll try to be a little bit more coherently edited. They'll try to be a little bit more um, actually full of things. But um, I'm definitely going to put out longer videos um, in that regard. Uh, so that's really what the schedule's loosely looking like at the moment. Um, Wednesday's still kind of up in the air. Um, but for the most part, that's a pretty set schedule. Let's Monday's Let's Play, Tuesday's Update and Let's Play, Wednesday's up in the air, Thursday and Friday are Let's Plays, Saturday is Overwatch Hero Guides and the series that I hopefully plan on replacing it with um, when those guides are done. Sunday is a variety hour, I guess. So, yeah, those are that's kind of what I've got going on for the foreseeable future when this schedule gets implemented. I still can't tell you. Hopefully by the end of October, we will have to see. Um, but yeah, that's really actually all I had to talk about. I mean, I kind of already said what I was going to say about Destiny. It was really brief. I mean, it was an expansion. It was good. It just expanded upon the game, and I enjoyed it, and I'm still enjoying it, actually. In fact, I'm going to go play it right after this is done. Um, but it's, you know, it's nothing I'm going to totally write home about or that I haven't already said about Destiny, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just adds more to the game. What's wrong with that? In a good way. Um, but yeah, anyway... Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this weekly update. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay or whatever that was in the background, too. I don't know what I put there. And I'll see you all in the next one. We're lucky to have dropped their high priest before he can perfect any of this madness, but it's got to make you wonder. What other perversions are they planning?